Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of Ask Brick here on Friday Answered Questions. Decorate your room with this handmade wall decal of the evolution of the Lego minifigure. These decals from Be a Creative Designer look great and come in a large variety of colors and sizes. Check the link in the description to learn more as well as don't forget to watch the review video I've made of this decal. Subscribe to BrickLover18 for more daily Lego videos. So before we get started on this week's episode, I have two things that I would like to talk about. Number one is Toy Fair. So Toy Fair is tomorrow, Toy Fair in New York City, and at Toy Fair they release a lot of new LEGO content, like new LEGO sets coming and things like that. Last year what I did was I took like every single theme and stuff like that and I put it into a video and uploaded a set video as the set was like coming to brickfan.com that's where I get all my Lego news and a lot of people really like that because like when they wake up because it starts early they wake up you know oh look at all this new Lego news on my YouTube from BrickLover18 that was great and I kind of want to do that again this year so let me know in the poll in the cards right now what you think of that idea do you want to see Toy Fair coverage on my channel you just click yes or no and it's completely anonymous but if you want to let me know further down in the comments below, you can say, do you want one big video, one video about th certain themes, or you don't care and you don't mind if I spam your newsfeed. Because last year, some people minded and unsubscribed, and I don't want that to happen. Okay, so the second thing is, next week on here on Ask Brick, I want to do like a YouTube Q&A sort of thing. So I want all questions related to either making YouTube videos or my YouTube videos or how I got started in YouTube and things like that. But if you have other questions you want to leave down below, you can leave them now. They just will not be uploaded until two weeks from now. So next week is like a whole YouTube week. Okay, now back to the Q&A. So three brick friends asked, do you approach a company about advertising on your channel or do they ask you? Or is there a service to match YouTube channels with companies who are looking to advertise? So by advertising, I assume you mean the people who actually pay to advertise on my video, like the 15 second intro at the start, which you saw this video about the decal. Those people, I, they do not reach out to me. I have a couple people inquire to me, but it never actually led to anything. The majority of the time, I have to reach out to them by you know emailing them from their website or emailing them from their email or their business card. I reach out to them and be like, hey, I'm BrickLover18. I make Lego videos on YouTube. I have 3,700 subscribers. I'm now advertising on my video. Each advertisement will come with 15 seconds of footage. I'll make it all for you, as well as it'll cost you 10 cents per 100 subscribers. So that's how I get a hold of them. 90% of the people won't respond. 5% will respond but never leave. Like, you're never going to go anywhere with them because they're like, oh, I'll contact you back, I'll contact you back, and then they never do. And then the other 5% actually advertises with you. So the second part of the question is, there's not really any service to match YouTube channels with company looking to advertise. I mean, there is Famebit, but that's really looking for product reviews, and there's nothing really Lego related on that. I think it'd be really good if somebody started a company where a business or a website where companies are willing to advertise with YouTube channels because it's hard because I reach out to all these people who I think would like to advertise and then a lot of them don't want to and then they I feel bad because I don't want to like pester them or harass them for advertisement but a lot of people are like whoa I've never actually thought of advertising before like thank you so much for contacting me because it's great and I've sold all these products and that's really cool anyway no, there's not really any service. I have to reach out to them because I'm just trying to get... I haven't really made a formal video like advertise with me yet. And I have only really started talking openly about this for the last couple weeks now about how people advertise with me. So I think I may get more advertisements in the future from people watching the content. But for now, I'm still reaching out to all these different companies. And this question from Mike Hagerman. Is it possible to pay you $4 to promote my channel like mine? Yes it is, if you are serious about advertising and you'd like to advertise your channel, I charge you the same 10 cents per 100 subscribers that I charge a business that may sell a million products, <laughs> not a million, but a million products with my advertisement, or just somebody who's looking to expand their YouTube channel by a couple hundred subscribers. If you and, or you have a product or a channel or anything like that and would like to advertise on my channel, please contact me using the email address in the description below. It's a little bit farther down so you'll just have to keep scrolling. Disney Freak 309 on Instagram asked, What minifigure series do you want in the future slash excited for this year? Series 16 in Disney. I am so excited for the Disney minifigure line. I mean, I went to Disney a long time ago in 2008, and going to the Disney Lego store really got me 
truly passionate about Lego. So I really like Disney plus who I mean who can honestly say they don't like Disney, but I'm super excited for those minifigures. I'm a little disappointed that or not disappointed, but I think it's weird that there's going to be 18 figures in the series. I personally think they should stick to the 16 or even have two D Disney series. I mean, if we got stuck with two Simpsons series, I'm pretty sure they can you know, be bored us with two Disney series, but that's my opinion. But I'm really excited for those because I can't wait to have, you know, like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and things like that. And a fun story, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Bricks for Chris and I, we all share the same birthday on November 18th. I learned that when I went to Disney World on my birthday and it was their birthday as well. And then a few years later, I learned that that was Bricks for Chris birthday as well. This question is from a fall man. What do you think of the new Technic sets coming out? So I hadn't really kept up to date on the Technic set, so I just finished like looking at some of the new images coming out on YouTube, and I do have to say the sets are kind of interesting, I don't know. I'm not, myself, I'm not a really big Technic person, I'm more into city and not vehicles, so it's kind of hard to judge, but the LEGO Technic plane looks pretty cool, I like the looks of that, and the Technic, you know, the helicopter with the, like, it's Okay, I'm not looking at the set number right now because of the screen on my iPad's frozen, but it's the yellow and red Technic plane and I think that or the helicopter and I think that looks super cool. My personal opinion is the bigger the Technic set is, the way cooler it looks compared to a lot of the other smaller Technic sets. But when you get a really expensive Technic set like that that looks really good, all I can think about is all that money I would have spent on the Technic set is how I could have bought, you know, maybe another modular building for my city. So it's kind of a trade-off and I ended up buying the city sets because that's what I'm more interested in. But I still really like the way the Technic sets look and I think they do look pretty cool. I mean, some of the cars look a little strange. They don't even look like cars. But so far the airplanes and the helicopters I think are really cool. Bricks asked, do you have a second channel? I actually do have a second channel and it's funny you should ask this because what I've been doing lately or what I've been thinking about doing lately is really reinventing that channel and just making it something awesome. I'm not really ready to say what that is, what's going to be awesome about that channel yet, but it is Bricklover18 Alt. I'll put the link to that in the description below. I think I have like 70 subscribers on it. I really like to grow that fan base a little more because I promise some really cool things are going to be coming to that channel probably by the end of the month probably by the end of the weekend if I have my way. Anyway, it's really cool. Definitely go check out that channel. I think some really cool things will be coming to that and I'm really excited for what I can do with that. But don't worry, BrickLover18 is not going to suffer, but I'm going to do some more cool stuff with BrickLover18 Alt. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Ask Brick. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope there's enough questions this week. I know I had a little bit of a shortage during the week, so that's why I asked people on Instagram for some questions. And I think I answered a lot of questions tonight, but I guess I'll find out in the editing process. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your comments down below for next week's Ask Brick special all about YouTube. And if you just have any other like general Ask Brick questions, you can leave them down below too because I still will answer them. Thanks everybody for watching and don't forget to vote on the poll that was the starting card of this video whether you want to see Toy Fair coverage tomorrow. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day.